using OBS for screen capture and using two main screens and an old iPad or an iPad uh, mini 4 actually um, and I'm running Duet on that. Duet's a, a superb app that turns something like an, your spare iPad into a third monitor. Now you can see OBS is running on that and in the bottom screen and in the third screen they're actually vacant screens. So let's put something in there. Okay, on that screen I've brought up photos. You can't see it up there. And let's see if, I, if on this screen I can put something up here. There's Keynote just come up there. Now you can see Keynote up there on the on the monitor, if you like, on the iPad monitor, which is running down there. Now that's dependent, and it's a, and it's really difficult. I can't get OBS to show you how it does this, but you can see that on there. Let's see if I can drag that down. There we go. Now we've got the tunnel effect. But on there, you should be able to see that quite clearly now, is display capture two and three. So that's that one, which is the screen that's over there. Turn that off. Turn that one on. That's the duet monitor up there. Turn that off. And this one's on, so I can turn that one off. And now it's not monitoring anything except the video capture device that's showing uh, my image on there. Display capture, we'll go back to that one. Now that's, I could probably rename that. That's that one over there. And this, is, this makes life really interesting because instead of tunneling that one when I'm working on that screen, I can just put it back up there. On the duet monitor. It's not showing that one, it's showing that one over there. That monitor there. It's easy to get confused. See there's the there's the um, the two boxes there. You can see them there. That's the one it's recording. There's the two boxes there. Now if I want the other monitor, turn that one off, turn that one on, no tunneling. Turn that one on, monitor three, that's that one there. So I probably should rename those, one, two, and three. Very simple. And the worst little video I've ever made, I think, because I'm using my iPhone 11 to record those three. I wanted to show you that, that's all. Start recording. Now, what I'm doing at the moment I'm recording the main screen. That's that one there. And that's Display Capture 3. I probably should rename the screens. It's not helping that I can't. Now if I turn off or turn on the screen that's above it, Display Capture 2, and turn that one off, it doesn't matter anyway because it's in the background, but I can turn it on. You can see that the Display Capture 2 is overlaying it. So that's quite handy. Turn it off, turn it back on. Now it's recording both of them. I can turn that one off and turn that one on, which is the third screen. No, well, it's not actually the third screen. It's the screen to the left. <laughs> as you just saw in the handheld video. I can turn off this uh, this top screen, the, the duet screen, so that you can't see it. All you can see is the screen over down the bottom, go left, is that screen there. Now what I want to do is show you the main screen or what I call the primary screen. I'll have to find a, a way of renaming these. Okay, primary screen here. Let's have a look at... Now there's that there. 
the displays and the arrangement. That one there you can see is that's the duet display and click that one there and the red band around it which you yes you can see that on the on the recording and that there I don't know why it has that white band at the top but that's the leftmost screen which you can't see at the moment because of the way I've got that displayed up there now I can move that that's that one there and I'm recording this main screen this one here you can see the red band around it okay that tells me where they are and really once you've set up Duet and OBS you can add as many displays as you like in the um, in the display console let me go back to Duet there's where you set them up and you can have it because Duet is overlaying the other two I could move that one up there and move that one down there um, it depends where these are And that one's on there we go that one's off I could really get myself confused here couldn't I and that's the duet display that's on at the moment whichever one has the eye open is the one that's displaying but that one is being displayed below it and that one although you can't see it is is being displayed behind that there's the boxes over there turn that off turn that off and that's just the duet that being displayed so I'll move those around I'll move that back to there and I'll turn and that's the main display that's right in front of me very useful very very useful that's Keynote. I don't want Keynote. We'll, we'll quit Keynote for now. And that's the main screen being recorded. Now finally in this little um, episode, the one thing that's really important is supposing you've got one monitor, one screen, and you want to record something on that screen with OBS. But the problem is you can see the tunnel effect you're getting here. It goes off into infinity forget the fact that I've got the camera working up here and that shows me but I'm also recording the main screen forget everything I said about having that third monitor or in my case the second monitor if you've got one screen one monitor and that's the one we're capturing there that's the one there display capture two, the bottom most screen just there now if you've got Duet and a spare iPad Mini 4 you, know, you can use an earlier version if you like of iPads um, they will work with Duet but their response times if you've got high resolution graphics running may be iffy although I have got an earlier iPad Mini and it works fine I've got a bracket at the top holding the whole lot you have saw early in the earlier video it holds the iPad and um, an old Logitech video cam that I'm using for that. Now if you've got one monitor here's the deal. Add your iPad mini or your iP iPad into the bracket at the top and you can run Duet up into the top where you can still watch it and control it as I'm doing now it's recording. You can run anything you like down here. Now let's have a look at the movie I'm making there's the movie I'm making you can see that's popped up and I'm overlaying it now because I've got let me drag it down so you can see it again there we go there we go tunnel effect in place see that bottom 
audio line there. Now if I'm playing audio, for instance, I might have a game running in the background. Just move that out the way. Maybe I've got sound in the timeline here and I want that to play and not my voice. Or I can stop talking and just play whatever's in there. Let me click on that and I'll just put the timeline there. Just double check up there to see what I'm recording. Ah yes, there it is. Okay, so now with that just there, if I start that and stop talking, Now, you can see that up there, and it's very confusing, but you can see my voice, and if you, if you, play, if you go back a little bit, drag, the, um, drag your video bar back a little bit, you'll see that that bottom line there, you'll see that you could see the sound in there. So it's, it displays the sound, it records the sound from the video from the main screen, and it records the sound from your own voice. It also records uh, the video with nothing in the way. You've got no tunneling effect. So if you've got one monitor, one screen, you can record the screen so long as you've got Duet running on uh, an old iPad. And you can pick up old iPads. They're a dime a dozen now. They're giveaways. You could use a third screen if you like. You can use, you can even do them by AirPlay. Um, by wireless because um, I've got mine plugged in at the moment it's a little bit better for speed who needs more things on the airwaves and you can see that if I get that out of the way so it's no longer confusing you can have anything you like being recorded in that screen have I got any games I probably have somewhere um, yes there's Battle.net that's World of Warcraft is that going to run I won't let it run too long, of course, because it takes forever to load. And it's probably going to want to download a whole hogshed full of updates. Ah, bounce, bounce. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Never mind. I just want to show you something else coming up on the screen. And you can see it bouncing up and down there. It's the... Um... Let me get back over there in front of the thing. I've got that much stuff on my desk at the moment. Uh, that's that's just up oh, there we go okay it's trying to access files on a removable volume let me pull that over there because that's the large I did have it on the other screen to start with and there's World of Warcraft waiting for an update okay let's stop the recording there I've showed you the main thing you can have a single screen duets running up the top there and it's got OBS running on it so I'm recording what's happening here you can see that very very useful